Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Sim UK. Welcome back to Midnight Protocol. <sighs> I've been trying to figure out this wizard's lair. I mean, move a soldier to B5 definitely means a chess move. Um, but I've done some research on a, on a B5 opener. And by all by all accounts, it's it's. I can't tell if it's a fake move or just a bullshit move. Uh, as in, in in terms of it being absolutely rubbish. Uh, I'm confused. We've pretty much done all of the um, distractions except for that one. Let's go for the. See, the problem we've got is we need to get access to this rainbow thing, and I don't know how to do it. So we've got prototype from Snail, and we've got the Abyss. Let's do the prototype from Snail. I think that's going to be easier. My uh, temperature is going absolutely up through the roof. I'm starting to feel a little bit weird. So, um, oh my god, this looks huge. For this mission, exit is disabled until you complete the objectives. What is that? The next program you activate is blacklisted. Each turn, a blacklisted program is active. The trace is increased by two. What? Okay, this is going to be this is going to be this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. So there's a look. There's a vault there. How am I going to break into the vault node? I'm going to have to get to the data node. So, if the next program you activate is blacklisted, each turn a blacklisted program is active, the trace is increased by two. Right, so. So. Uh, if I go help. Sniffer. Sniffer was blacklisted. While an instance of the program is active, the trace will increase by two. Damn, that's going to be there for three turns. That maybe wasn't the smartest move, I don't know. Let's run the mask and let's, let's uh, start moving towards our objective. And destroy them. Create hands. What is going on here? Every other turn, it goes for that attack. Now what's going on? The Noose V version 0 0.8 prevents you from activating stealth programs. Can be removed by typing in remove the noose. Okay, so let's put the mask back on. Oh, it's running code. If new signal, then blacklist. If right hand damage, then restore right hand. If no hangman, then can't read that quick enough. What the hell?
So now it's poisoned me. Alright, this is interesting. I'm not quite sure what to do with this. So the hand has been damaged. Not destroyed. So now it's going to monitor. The hand has been damaged. going to create a hand. That's going to give me more poison. Remove poison. Dagger. That's got a lot of power, that head. So that's my objective then, is to destroy the head. So maybe I need to take out that left hand as well. So I'm trying to remove the poison, but it's all happening so fast. I'm not sure we're going to be able to do this. Poison removed. poison and I'm going to type in mask so slice dagger six Pretty sure we're going to die this time. I'm going to use this as a practice. So I have to destroy these hands. They've got a power of 100. something a lot more powerful we don't need that I don't think we need that the dagger is good I think the rat is probably essential the gateway might help us as well I wonder if I could just tunnel under that SOB
Oh, hang on. Yeah, rats, yeah. All right, let's give it a go. I, I really don't know. My head's a bit fluffy at the moment because of the uh, cold, but I really don't know quite where to attack at the moment. The next one I activate is blacklisted. Right, well, let's just move nice and close and get into a position where we can start attacking. Created some hands. So now I need to think about what am I going to activate that I don't really need very much. I'm going to go with cloak. So now cloak is blacklisted. is not running. It says it is running. Or is that the blacklist that's running? Right, so now I'm going to run Mask. That should keep the trace down, but then he's going to start trying to poison me and all sorts of stuff. going to do, and I probably should have done this already, Dagger C3. I'm going to start attacking him there. Three turns should be enough to get past him. Activated some poison against me. Um, so we'll go slice dagger six. Oh, we can't do it because of the noose. Almost done. So I've actually got the mask running for a change. So I can disable his protection this time round. Survived it again. Surely this time we've got him. Right. 
He's gone. So we're going to run hash rat. Thankfully, it's attacking the right thing because I forgot to say SO. I'm going to go remove the noose. So we're running the mask, we're running uh, the rats. Just gonna hope that the rats build up power quickly and start destroying this thing in big chunks. So the right hand can't do anything else to me, the right hand is done. The left hand appears to only be applying the noose. So we can remove the noose, run the mask, and end. And every time our attack against the head gets a little bit stronger. So I think we're in a pretty good position right now. Run the mask and our turn. So the head is down to 376.4 power or HP, I should say. So it'd be nice if we're doing like 30 40 damage to him right now. So every time we attack him, every time we attack him, we gain a little bit of extra strength against him, which is nice. So we've got 11 rats right now. That was nearly 50 damage. Let's go again. 75 damage this time would be excellent. We've got 13 rats on him. Down to 209. Keeping that trace under control. Nice. 
we're in a position of power. 17 racks on him right now. That's going to bring him down to about 50 health, so I reckon two more turns and we'll have him done. Now, I wonder if I've got to go kill the hands as well, or whether all these ice implementations will be destroyed at the same time. Yeah, he's down to 57. That's pretty much it. This is the one. 19 rats crawling all over his head. suspicion that he's going to come back pretty much immediately. Scan. Scanning log files. Code comment encountered. The paper inside the golem's head. Reference to golem. Creature of Jewish folklore. Scanning intranet public sources. Mundipedia. Possible password suggestions. Alrighty. going to come back because if it is we got a problem okay the head is back that is not good for us no the head is not back it's a gate now we've got poison So I've removed the noose and I've removed the poison. Is it going to be enough? I should have run a gatekeeper, shouldn't I? We haven't got a tunnel. Damn! Remove the noose. Go first time. Open. All right, now I get to do the password. Let's go for the long one. I E H O V A H. Got to be capitals. I E H O V A H. Nuggets. Remove poison. Remove the noose. Not 
sure I'm doing a good job here. Completed sleep. Overclock code retrieved. That's it. Job done. Exit. That was interesting. Black hat reputation gained plus two. Excellent. There's a thousand credits there that I didn't get any of. I wish I'd taken a leech with me now. Okay, so I've completed two challenges. That gives us a bit of extra cash. Black Hat Reputation. So we should have some new Black Markets programs in our midst. Bandit? No, copy. Teleports you to an adjacent node without triggering ice. When removed, teleports you back to your original location. Wow. That's pretty powerful. Okay, so if I look at status, the Trash Man Code for Cloak version 3.3. Huh. Overclock starts by taking zero slices while there are available slices. Whenever you move, it will give you one extra action at the cost of one slice. When, rem when removed, a cooldown program is added that takes up as many slices for as many turns that overclock slice count upon re removal. Okay. Okay, not the most useful thing in the world. Where's the copy? Have I not bought it? Have I got to buy a copy? I think we're going to buy a copy because that just sounds very useful. Breakers state memory pool. Breakers do 20% more damage. I'm going to buy that as well. Uh, not sure if I'm going to install it though. to have two of these, I'm not sure. Let's try swapping it over and we'll find out in the next uh, the next attack. Alright, well that was an interesting little battle, wasn't it? I think if I did it again I'd be able to steal quite a lot of that money. Maybe the data? I don't know. If I had a tunnel I could just jump under the head instead of having to sit there attacking it. I think, but uh, yeah. All right, not to worry. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.